Welcome to an example where we're starting off with angles. So we're talking about angles. They want us to draw a 60 degree angle in particular. This is the unit circle. So let me give you an introduction to what, what it is we're talking about with this. Why is this thing called the unit circle? Unit there means one. So this is being called the one circle because of the one here and here, and this is negative one and negative one, meaning the radius of this circle is one. Remember the radius of a circle is how far from the middle uh, from the middle to the edge, and you could go to the edge straight to the right, or up, or left, or down, or you could even go this way. It, these will all, all these distances are one. So this is the unit circle, and what we're saying is we're saying the one circle. Unit means one. So this is the circle of radius one. Now, we're really into this circle in trigonometry, and I'll explain, especially in section 7.2, more details about why we like the unit circle, why it makes life easy for us when we do trigonometry. It'll become clear, especially in 7.2. But for now, just know this is the unit circle, and what does unit mean? It means one radius one. So this is the radius one circle. Okay, and now what they want us to do with it is find some angles. Now, remember how angles work? What is all the way around? An, an angle is an amount of opening, right? Like if you have a door and you open it a little bit, how far it's open, that's what an angle is. It's an amount of opening between two straight lines. In fact, I could do that a lot better, I think. Let me try it like this. Well, that's not what I meant to do. How about this? Here we go. So um, an angle is an amount of opening between two straight lines. And um, the, the wider it is, the bigger the angle. So what, what is all the way around a circle? So if you go all the way around, what is that angle? Do you know that is 360 degrees? All the way around is 360. They made that up. I want you to know that that was completely made up. It came from um, the, when angles were first used back when they were navigating the seas using the stars at night for navigation. Way back in, I don't know when, 1700s, 1800s. Well, you know, actually way before that. That was, that was bad history there. You can look it up on Google. Way back when uh, angles were first made, they were used, before we had lasers and things, to navigate by the stars. And back then, they thought that we, think, think with me for a second, what goes around, all the way around, about 360? 365 days, we orbit the sun. Back then, when they were first coming up with angles, their best estimate was that we run around the sun every 360 days. So they just said, well, let's make all the way around 360 degrees. It was simply made up based on our their estimation of our rotation around the sun at that time. So I want you to know angle, angle numbers are completely made up. All the way around is 360, right? All the way around is 360. So therefore, halfway around, half of that is 180. And um, three quarters is 270. This is 90, because that's only from there to there, is 90. That's one fourth of all the way around. This is halfway around, again, 180. 90 is a quarter, and 270 is, is uh, three quarters. So, and then all the other angles come from that. So this is 45 degrees right here, because it's halfway to 90. Now, what are these other two points? Well, these are the ones we commonly use, 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Note, and this is, of course, zero. This is where it starts off. It's also 360, right? Zero and 360, notice, are the same angle, because 360 is all the way around, and zero is no way around. Either way, it, it's right here. So, oh, and, and yeah, why do we start here? They made it up. Yeah, I should, have, I should have pointed that out too. That was just made up. It's just by common, just like why do we drive on the right side of the road in North America? It's by common agreement, right? In Europe, they drive on the left side of the road. So it's just, there's no logic there. It's just common agreement. So they, they start angles from the origin straight to the right. They could have made straight up be the starting. They could have made that zero degrees. They didn't. They made straight to the right zero degrees. So that's where all angles start by common agreement. And then they go forward from there. So this angle 
is therefore 90 degrees because it's one-fourth of all the way around, and they made all the way around 360. And so that's how we measure angles. Now, these angles are important, 30 degrees and 60 degrees and 45 degrees. So when they ask me now, it's getting back to this question, notice they've already got the first line segment right here for you. They've already got that one done. So they want me to do the second one. This one they're asking for 60 degrees. So they want you to take that pencil and go from the origin. Oops, let me try that again. I want you to take that pencil and go from the origin straight out to the 60 degree spot. Just put a dot here and there. And boom, that is a 60 degree angle. I'll get in in time to come, I'll get more specific about why they choose 60, 45 is right in the middle, that's pretty obvious, and 30. It's because they're very convenient and easy angles for, for trigonometry, and we'll see that, especially in section 7.2. But for now, just know, 30, 45, 60. Those are the most important angles that we always use in the first quadrant between 0 and 90 degrees. So if they ask you to do the 60 degree angle, it's right there. If they ask you to, um, let me do a different one here. If they ask you to do the 45, it's right there. The 30, it's right there. So there's three different angles. So that's 30, there's 45, this one's all the way to 60. So there it is, that's all you have to do on this first one.